Welcome to the third video lecture on cholinergic toxins and the neurotransmitter release cycle. In this video, we're going to focus on the enzymatic breakdown of neurotransmitter function at the neuromuscular junction and how that is impaired by toxins. To remind you of the synapse we are focusing on, here is a picture of the neuromuscular junction from before. After vesicle release, acetylcholine is broken down by acetylcholinesterase, which terminates the neurotransmitter signaling. Acetylcholine esterase is very abundant in the neuromuscular junction because it is the only way acetylcholine actions are terminated. Acetylcholine esterase compounds have been long developed for industrial use as insecticides. Insect nervous systems use acetylcholine as one of the primary neurotransmitters. The major class of acetylcholine esterase inhibitors are organophosphorus pesticides. They include parathion, this was developed in the 1940s and banned in the USA since early 2000. Parathion is highly toxic to target insects and as well as non-target organisms such as humans. Another organophosphorus pesticide is chlorpyrifos. And Scott Pruitt, the ex-EPA head of the Trump administration, denied a petition to ban chlorpyrifos in March of 2017. And this was overruled by the courts in August of 2018. Another class of acetylcholinesterase inhibitors are weaponized cholinesterase inhibitors. This includes sarin gas, and this was originally developed in 1938 in Germany as an insecticide, as well as VX gas, which is developed in the 1950s by the United Kingdom and USA as a chemical weapon. The mechanism of action for acetylcholinesterase inhibitors is fairly straightforward. It inhibits the enzyme acetylcholinesterase from breaking down acetylcholine. Thus, there is overactivation of the receptors in the neuromuscular junction that leads to coordinated muscle failure and eventually respiratory distress and death. The effects of acetylcholinesterase inhibition can be remembered by the word sludge. So salivation, lacrimation or watery eyes, urinary incontinence, diarrhea, gastrointestinal cramps, and emesis. Farm workers can experience sludge from accidental exposure to commercial organophosphate pesticides. Large doses of pesticides or potent nerve agents lead to convulsions, paralysis, and respiratory failure. Can you guess what a possible drug treatment for cholinesterase inhibitors would be? The answer is pralidoxine. This cleaves the phosphate ester bond formed between the organophosphate and the acetylcholinesterase. However, this must be given 24 hours after exposure for effect. 